What's up? Eric Butler here for TatumReport.com, and President Biden issues executive order to combat perceived anti-LGBTQ state bills. So it is Pride Month, and the president is kicking the pandering and propaganda into absolute overdrive. He's already done so much damage with just a few strokes of the pen, but of course he's not done yet. It says... President Joe Biden issued an executive order on Wednesday to counter perceived anti-LGBTQ measures presented in state legislatures throughout the country. NBC News reports that the directive will instruct government health and education organizations to improve LGBTQ inclusive learning environments in American schools and boost access to so-called gender affirming care. So when they say anti-LGBTQ, what they really mean is somebody who doesn't want to take their kids to drag queen story hour and isn't immediately going to fold to the whims of a five-year-old. And when they say gender affirming care, this is the peak of the dystopian democratic doublespeak. Gender affirming care in a sane world would mean that you tell people the truth and help them deal with their problems, not pump them full of hormones and mutilate their bodies. And when they say that these anti-LGBTQ bills are being passed throughout the country, they never thought for one minute that maybe people don't like this agenda. Maybe people don't want boys on girls sports teams and they don't want boys in the girls locker room. Maybe they don't actually believe that little boys can magically turn into little girls if they so think it. But they will always ignore this instinct. They will ignore all common sense and shove this insanity down our throats regardless. And I don't know the actual numbers. I don't think anybody really does. I think it's all speculation. But even as we see these polls that are showing more and more people identifying as transgender doesn't make it so. And of course, this gender ideology only applies in certain situations. As we've seen, nobody in the cult wants to admit that they know what a woman is until it comes to abortion. Then, of course, it's a woman's right to choose and that cannot be interrupted and it will turn violent if you even try it. Now, of course, the Roe versus Wade uh, thing, I mean, do the people who are so angry about this, a genuine question, do they realize that this is not going to end abortion? It's only going to turn it over to states. And some states have already shown us that the voters don't like abortion. They don't want it. So I don't know why they're so angry about this. It's their their overbearing authoritarian nature that just makes them say, well, everybody should have to get an abortion. Everybody should have to wear a mask. Everybody should have to get three shots or get one every quarter. That's what we see. It's this authoritarian nature that they just want to demand of everybody. And then as soon as somebody steps out of line, they call that person a fascist, right? That's what we always see. The projection uh, is so palpable. The hypocrisy it, I mean, you could cut it with a knife, and I know we always talk about the hypocrisy, everybody's harping on it, and it almost seems like it's not worth discussing anymore, but I think we have to continue to discuss the hypocrisy, because if we let that go, then they win. Then, well, it, it doesn't matter, you know, double standards are our only standards, and we're never going to be called out on it, and I don't think we can let that happen. We have to keep pushing, because we know that they will keep pushing. For years and years and years, they will never stop. We've so, We've seen this this LGBTQ stuff, I mean, talk about a slippery slope, right? I don't know. What was it? Barack Obama, who didn't even support gay marriage. I'm sure there's some footage of Joe Biden many years ago saying that he didn't support gay marriage. But my, how the times have changed and this empty suit is going to bat. Or I don't even want to say going to bat because he's actually being controlled by somebody else. We know that Joe Biden has no idea what's going on. He's a completely empty suit. He's 80 years old. He doesn't know what's going on. And in his 80 years... Of life, He wants to pretend that this makes sense. It didn't make sense when he was vice president. It doesn't make sense now. And I know that he doesn't really have a good grasp on what's actually happening. But I do know that in his nearly 80 years of life, he knows what a woman is. And he knows that you can't just choose to be a woman. But this is their last hope. Because the tiny population that is so detached from reality that they believe a man can magically turn into a woman are the only people who are going to continue to support this administration. Thank you for watching another Tatum Report video. Make sure you subscribe to this channel. Subscribe to us everywhere on social media. And if God has put it in your heart, give us a donation. See you on the next video.